so this is now my three month and a couple of days update after my bariatric surgery and um everything is going well um i haven't been able to do to do much updating lately i have filmed some that will come up uh, i will publish it in a bit but i've been moving and i've been actually in for surgery again because i <laughs> i got struck with appendicitis and i uh, had my appendix taken out uh, but now I'm done moving, I'm out of the flat and I'm in the house and it's chaos here. So now I'm working on um, finishing everything here. But that's another question. So what has happened uh, with my bariatric surgery and how do I feel and everything? Um, I feel fine. I have lost I in my moving I haven't weighed myself regularly because uh, I haven't had time to or energy or focus to so I don't know how much weight I have lost uh, last time I checked I had lost about 23 24 kilos something like that since I started this journey in late November early December uh, and then but that was a couple of weeks ago so I don't know what it's like now um, I have oh sorry I've started uh, I've noticed that I do not recognize my shadow now uh, my shadow does not have the shape of me and not just that it's smaller it's that it's a different shape it is um of course the proportions are completely different because my head you what used to be much smaller compared to the rest of my body uh, and now the head seems enormous when i see my own shadow you know uh but also I am getting the frills, you know, when everything is uh, losing in it and it's dropping downwards. So everything that's still there kind of hangs around my hips now, you know, in folds and things like that. It's not glamorous in any way, but that's how it is. And that's fine. It's fine. But I've never looked like that. I've never had wider hips than my belly i've always had the belly and the boobs being the largest uh, bits of me you know uh, but now it kind of hangs in i will see what happens with that um, as more weight comes off but i i can definitely you know fe feel and see that that everything that is hanging you know everything that is left is now kind of gathering <laughs> below my belly button <laughs> And I'm not used to that. Also, one thing I didn't count on happening, but what has happened is that I'm burping. I'm burping so much. Because when I eat, I eat or drink, I apparently am swallowing a lot of air. Which is fine. And then I have to, just to feel good, to not dump. And uh, so I, I, I'm not dumping very often because um, I'm eating slowly and things like that. But I'm swallowing air, so I do need to burp. So I'm burping more than I've ever done before. Uh, but people will have to just take that. I can't do anything about it. Uh, I also see that I look like shit. I look really rough. That's because I... Oh, dirty i haven't showered since i uh made no sense since i did the last cleaning of my flat yesterday so i haven't showered uh since then uh, so i am really dirty need to scrub everything down so there will be a shower taken later today um 
but I feel fine. Um, I'm not cooking very much at the moment, so I'm glad I did some cooking and and meal freezing, you know, uh, earlier because I can just take them out now. Uh, I can't be cooking very much because I've been I've still been moving, so I can't get to my stove right now because everything, as I said, everything is chaos. When I look at myself in the viewfinder, I I can clearly see that my face is thinner. Uh, it clearly is, and I, I've got some hanging skin around here, and that's fine. It's fine. It's nothing. Uh, also, I have been uh, communicating with uh, an old friend who just went through a gastric sleeve yes, uh, surgery yesterday. And of course, there are two different things. I had a gastric bypass. She had a gastric sleeve. But still bariatric surgery and some of the problems will be the same so it feels good to be able to help and to support her and to kind of yeah this and that will be difficult and you but you will come work through it and you will find your ways of of uh, dealing with things so that's about it i didn't have very much to say right now um my move has been tough i hate moving i hate it but also um since i um as i said i had a bit of an appendicitis and i had to take two days in hospital <sighs> to get my appendix taken out they did find some other stuff as well while they were um, doing the computer scan on my on my belly where they found that the appendix was uh, infected uh, they did find some other things as well so they need to be checked out we the surgeon and and that's the thought that it's probably nothing uh, but and I will listen to the surgeon but uh, I think that um, and he's right in but it's probably nothing nothing but we will check it out anyway just in case uh, so that's just uh, to be safe you know so we know that there is nothing there uh, but that it kind of has concluded all the three big things that I was, you know, had ahead of me when I started this vlogging. I will continue and I will uh, continue updating both on the moving and, and the installation and, and how I do things here. Um, here in my new home and uh but but uh when i started this in february 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 difficult difficult word to say um i said there were three things happening my surgery i started working uh no quit stop working starting studying uh, I'm doing that as well and it's tough it really is it's a lot it demands a lot really demanding studies I perhaps can if anyone is interested in it I can talk about them in, in another video but I doubt that anyone would be interested in it um, so that's it and my move uh, and I also kind of uh, kind of just passed in uh, second surgery <laughs> having my appendix taken out just to, to mix everything up a bit add some bits to it because you can't just do those three things can you who would you even be if you did just three tough things at the same time no um one sad thing that needs to happen is that i need to have one of my cats put down tomorrow. Uh, 
I can tell you about that in another video, perhaps. Um, so I'll talk about her in another video. And yeah, that's about it for now. Bye.